Not blast ball. I mean volleyball. But it could be a 1v1 blast ball. <laughs> it would be pretty hard though. A very small arena with a few tiles that drop with balls. You could do a team based button basher as well. You could... I had an idea, I'm not sure how to explain it. But an idea in my head for a, for a final. For a final. Like... Hmm. Say for example... It's such a cool idea. Like... Here's the crown in the middle. And then there's like rotating platforms that that go around the crown. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but... And they all have like different obstacles on them. Everywhere. Like, it, it takes a while to get into the middle. It could be like planets rotating with different obstacles on them, I don't know. But people all spawn around the outside. And it would be even, like, so there's no spawn advantage, like, they would all be symmetrical type of thing. And you would have to jump to place to place, uh, and go through obstacles. I think that'd be so cool. You could do a Lost Temple team final, where there is the crown in the middle. And then each team spawns on a different side, like if it's a square, like a maze. You have to try and find the way in, and it would be even for each side, type of thing. So, um, I I wanted to do a Minecraft dropper map. That would be cool. You could do. If it had full creativity, you could do really funny ones, like, uh, like quizzes. Like, you have to stand on a tile based on the question, like, uh, like a trivia quiz. <laughs> could you imagine if you could do that somehow? Or you could probably do it in different games, but... Until there's, like, one person left. I give random trivia questions. Like what is the capital of Germany or something. <laughs> and then you had to stand on A, B, C or D. Like a tiptoe, I mean a, a perfect match tile. And then they drop depending on what the right answer is. And then go until there's one player left. That would be so cool. A trivia map. I know you could never do that in the map editor, but could you imagine if you could? Mm -hmm. If you could change like the uh, like the the shading and like the lights and everything, I know you can do that in a different platforming game called a Hat and Times level editor. Imagine if you could change like all the lighting of everything. You could make like a limbo map where it's like black and white. And it's like a hard obstacle course. Imagine if you could make your own obstacles. You know what I mean? Dude, yeah, there's, there's like endless possibility for the map editor. But I doubt it's gonna be anything, you know. What I'm guessing the map editor will be, it'll be like... They'll add in like, a few obstacles. That's it. From the game, you can't really do anything else. And I, in the map editor, I wish you could change like the physics of everything. Like if you wanted to, you could make it like jumping super high. Or like 
you could um, make it so your character runs super fast. Or you could make rules so that, like, I don't know, like, your character is super lightweight or you can't jump. Like, you could, you could do a lot in the map editor, like, a lot. You make some really fun, interesting things. But... Yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh. awkward. I wasn't paying attention. I, I made that really hard on myself. I was too busy talking. I was too busy yapping to you guys. I almost lost. 